Hey, so me and this dude have been best friends since we were kids. I'm Alan. I write graphic novels for a living. That's Victor. He does TV and film production. We're finally making a feature-length film together, and we're inviting you to join us. This is Making Our First Movie. Two young activists must choose between violence and peace to bring down the corrupt politician responsible for the death of their childhood friend. What I want to say is, you had never written before, you had never made a movie before, you just got out and did it, and you learned so many things from it. Uh, and that, that was one of the things, but you wouldn't have learned them if you hadn't done it. True. Right? And I did learn a lot, yeah, so that's one of the things with this industry. It really is, um, it, it's on the job, job training. I mean, yeah, I went to school, I mean, um, briefly for it, I, I am a, a, a college dropout when it, when it came to this, but <laughs> I, I, I got into the industry immediately and everything I learned, I pretty much learned um, doing over the past 20, what, seven years now. Yeah, that's part of why I'm excited for, for this movie that we're working on now, because you have all that experience and, and perspective right. on it now. Right, right. All right, so you want to lay out uh, some, some, we promised eight tips for people to make their their first short film? When it comes time to doing, um, to shooting a film or working on a project, uh, I guess my first step would be um, a story. Like, you need a story. Right. Uh, and I find it easier to write about something that I know or I've experienced. Although I am a storyteller, I understand how to tell visual stories. There is um, script format. There's a lot of that that goes into it. I mean, that's just something that people kind of overlook. They figure I'm gonna write, I'm gonna write a movie and just write something. And the yeah. format is all wrong, and it's just, I mean, it's horrible. Um, so I had to do some research on what script, how to format a script, how to tell a story. Um, so that's, yeah, that's, and that's, I wanna, that's I, the first thing. And I want to give you credit on that one, man, because, I mean, you really just jumped in and did it. Like, I, you know, you pretty much had the script written before we you, before you even showed it to me. Uh, second tip, I guess, would be um, uh, leveraging who you know. I'm assuming that if it's your film, you're the one doing the directing. So, like, who's DPing it? Um, who's editing it? Um, who, who's, who's your gaffer, um, who's doing, you know, I mean, actors, um, audio engineers, all that stuff. Like, look around at who's around you and who your peers are. So yeah, so reaching out to people who are on the same professional level as you. Yeah, basically, in short, yes. Number three is a budget. Um, realistically, oh, yeah. you, 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 you need money. It doesn't have to be $100,000 or a million dollars. It could be $1,000. It could be $500, but you need something. Um, to start with because everything costs money. But now the budget, your budget, in my opinion, um, it's not a reason to limit your creativity, but it is a floor to work with. Like you need to know realistically, what can I do within my financial means? My fourth um, tip, um, although a, a great storytelling shouldn't be dictated by, you know, what you're shooting on. Like you can shoot, if it's a great story, you can use a, a DV cam. You can use your phone. Yeah. Um, and, and you still, you, I mean, if it's a great story, it's, it's going to be conveyed. But that shouldn't neglect the fact that sometimes your camera and the look of your film goes into the story that you're telling. Mm. So um, I would say research your camera. Re research what camera you want to use, what lens you want to use to, for the look that you want. Um, so uh, I, I want to ask, man, you feel like different stories would dictate a different type of camera? Different looks. I mean... Huh. I think it depends. It, it really depends. I think on you as the director. Um, yeah. You know what look are you trying to go for, and what camera gives you that look? Some some cameras give you a more milky film look. Some give you a more hard edge look. But you know, in my opinion, because I am an artist. Um, yeah. I'm I'm real big on how something looks, and if I want it to look a certain way, I'm gonna research what camera gives me that look, what lens give me that look that I need um, for my story. I guess my, my fifth tip would be audio. And audio is one of those hmm. things that's, especially in, in the independent world, is um, often overlooked. But I'm gonna tell you, bad audio will mess up a movie horribly. You can have a great looking movie and horrible audio and you will lose your audience. Huh. Um, I, I prefer to see a movie that's, that looks mediocre with great audio that I can actually hear than something that looks beautiful that I can't hear. That's like saying uh, you wanna date somebody that you can talk to rather than somebody who is beautiful. You it's interesting. What? You know what? That is a great analogy. Yes, you got hmm. a beautiful, a beautiful person who's an airhead, and it's like I can't have a conversation with you, and then you lose interest. Right. You know, someone who probably doesn't fit your physical description of what you are looking for, but they're extremely intelligent and it's a great conversation. I'm gonna go with that person every time. Yeah. Movies, movies the same way, and, and also when it comes with audio, also you got to think about is also your score. While we're talking about audio, um, oh yeah, there are a lot of um. 
there are a lot of um, places where you can get um, licensed free music. Um, there's a lot of sites now where you can get that. Um, and because it, the score kind of dictates the mood and understanding how to score your movie. And if you can't afford someone to come in and actually score your film, there's, there's like I said, there's a bunch of sites you can go through to get music uh. you can use to score your movie. Uh, my sixth tip um, is locations. Uh, okay. One thing people don't think about is um, when, you, when you're doing a, I guess assume we're talking about a short film now, or even right. a feature length film, um, but if you're doing your short film, you have a tight budget, keep in mind the more locations you have, the more time and money you're gonna spend. I, I would say use a location that you can use multiple, use as multiple sets. Mm. Um, so like if you have a house with several levels, you use each level as a different location. There's this thing uh, in, in TV shows called a bottle episode Mm -hmm. where uh, the whole episode takes place on one set. Right. And those are their money-saving episodes so that they can use it for, like, you know, bigger things in other episodes. Right. So that's interesting, that, you know, yeah. that idea that you save money by having less locations. Okay, my seventh tip is going to be, um, as a filmmaker, I would learn as much as you can, meaning, you know, you're coming in as a writer, I mean, or as a director, you say you want to direct a movie, cool. Um, I would say learn how to write. I'd say learn how to edit, learn how to DP, learn how to run a camera, learn how to run audio. Now, huh. will you be doing all of these things while you're shooting your movie? Hopefully not. But it does help for you as an independent filmmaker to know at least how these things work. I mean, there, there are all kind of tutorials out there right now in this day and age. Back when I started 20 something years ago, almost 30 years ago, um, it wasn't, it was, I guess it wasn't as accessible. The information wasn't there. Now it's at your fingertip. YouTube it. Um, and uh, at the very least, understand how it works, so that if you are working with someone, you could you could at least get what you know you want because you know what you know how to direct them to tell them what you want. At the worst, yeah. you got to pick it up and do it yourself. But at least you're gonna get it done regardless because now you're not dependent on someone else to make sure your project gets done. Yeah, that's cool to hear. Um, just how it was back when you started. Uh, that that was during like the Charlie Chaplin phase of movies, right? <laughs> no, <laughs> not that old. <laughs> no, 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 no. I might, I don't know, absolutely not. But it was, it was during. The, I, I was a very different era of where we are right now. Um, right. I, I, actually, I was. It's crazy. Are you laughing? I was. I was. I always tell people I was old enough to learn to learn the old way of doing things. I started in television, so we, I'm talking about beta to beta one inch reels. Um, I was in that age where it was a whole new wave coming out and I was able to hop on that and really soak it up and understand. I remember when the first Abbott came out, I hopped on there and learned how to, you know, it was, it was, it was a beautiful I experience. I remember that. Yeah. yeah. It was, yeah you were there, yeah. I mean, it was a, it was a beautiful yeah. experience to understand that I can just drop a transition on and boom, I got to dissolve. And my eighth and final step um, is make the movie. <laughs> yes. It's really that simple. <laughs> it's like, Good, bad, or ugly, get it done. The biggest thing is finish it. Finish yeah. it. Yeah. Right. I mean, at, I mean at, 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 at best, you got yourself a great film. You're like, wow, I was doing some stuff. At worst, you learned a whole new process. Yeah, man. I think that's good. Can you just run through that list really quick again so people just had that recap? You know, you had to explain yeah. it. Just run them down. My first one, uh, first tip was um, your story. Write your story. Solid story. Second one. Uh, leverage your peers, your Walmart and people who, who are around you who can help you make your film. Uh, third step is your budget. Know your budget, don't let your budget constrain you, but understand your budget is the foundation that you gotta work with. Um, fourth one, um, camera. Um, although, you know, a camera doesn't necessarily make a film, um, it, it plays a big part in it. Understand what camera you wanna use. The fifth one is audio. Audio is key. I, I would put audio above camera um, in this because you gotta hear it. Um, the sixth one is um, scouting your location. Know where you, where you want to shoot. Keep it to a minimal because you want to keep your budget down. Seventh is learn, learn, learn um, all you can about this industry. If you want to do it, learn all the, all the roles. And the eighth one is make your movie. Make the damn movie. Make it happen. <laughs> right. <laughs> all right. Well, uh, I think my number one key to movie making is have dope t-shirts. Look of at course. that. Of course. Of course. Why not? What? <laughs> what is this one? Disney's getting served. What? I swear to God, you and these shirts, yo, I love them though. <laughs> and next week, me and Victor talk about how my minimalist tendencies made him doubt if we could collaborate on our movie. <laughs>